This year, the electoral process in Somalia will choose members of the country's next federal parliament, and members of the newly installed parliament will then vote for the country's presidential candidates. Here is how the process will work. The next federal parliament will consist of an upper house and a house of the people, also known as the lower house. Members of the state assemblies will elect 54 members of the upper house. In the case of the house of the people, or the lower house, the process will begin with a group of 135 traditional elders who will choose the members of the 275 electoral colleges. Each electoral college will then vote for one of the 275 seats at stake in the House of the People. There will be 275 electoral colleges, each consisting of 51 delegates. A total of 14,025 Somalis will therefore participate in the electoral colleges, and they will gather in at least six regions nationwide to cast their ballots. Once this part of the process is finished, the 329 members of the new parliament will formally take their seats. The next step after the swearing-in of the new members of the parliament, the president will be selected by all the 329 members of the upper house and the house of the people. This is truly a great moment in Somalia's history.